Okay, so this is part two, and now we're going to be looking at lighting this cave in Blender 8.8. So let's start by adding an FBRI image. So I'll switch to from object mode here in the shader to world object at world view, and uh, I'll switch here to uh, to rendered mode uh, so that we can start looking at the lighting. And uh, let me remove this light, uh, go to <coughs> our surface, and change the color to environment texture and find an HDRI image to use here. I'll find, let me see what I can work with here. Uh, by the way, you can find a uh, free HDRI images from texturehaven.com. And yeah, uh, that's where I also go this. So this is what we have, but you can see it's a bit bright, too bright for me. So I'm just going to turn this down to 0 0.1 so that we can still see some of the details there, uh, but uh, not too much of uh, the details. So not too much of the light. So I uh, also want to rotate uh, this sky, this HDRI, this background image, uh, so that we're not seeing, uh, because you can see this is like a playground and uh, yeah, this is a cave, it shouldn't be somewhere like that. So I'm just going to hit Ctrl T uh, to bring up the tool texture coordinate mapping. This shortcut only works if you have uh, the node wrangler add-on enabled and uh, now we can go to the z rotation rotation and start rotating this until we see something like a forest i don't know if yeah, i think that is good enough you know i think somewhere like here i'm seeing a light here so i'm just going to tilt this a bit uh in the let's see in the x-axis so that i don't see that too much you can also also just use a background image as or just a plain and uh, slap a texture on that and to get uh, the background you want but uh, because this uh, i want to keep this short i'm just going to use uh, this kind of texture i think the light is good uh, so let's go let's start adding some other light so uh, we have two open areas here so we have light coming in from this side and this side uh, which is kind of messing up our lighting a bit. This, the, this back side should be dark uh, so that we don't have lighting coming from this back side. So I'm just going to go to edit mode, select this back loop, hit F to fill it in, and uh, maybe hit I to insert it just a bit. And uh, that should close uh, that side. Now I'm also going to add an area light around here. So Shift A, mm, light, area light. Uh, I'm adding an area light because it kind of gives me a better control than uh, the sunlight. And uh, usually the sun, let me just show you what happens, kind of penetrates through the vertices. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, this is just the hole that uh, this here. So that's what you, it was a bit confusing me. Uh, and uh, if you want to get rid of this, you might, you need to add something like uh, a solidify modifier. Uh, to start getting rid of that, but uh, that can in easily increase. Let's see, it, it can increase the polygon count, which will slow down a lot of things. So I don't want to use that, and uh, uh, that's why I'm going to just use an area light and uh, give it a stronger power. Uh, it's also still getting through, but I think uh, we can start reducing. We can add contact shadows uh, to get rid of some of that and uh, play around with this uh, with these settings here. Let's see, bias. I think it's distance. Uh, it should get rid of some of that bleeding. Uh, so I think the light is also still a bit uh, a bit too much. And maybe let me just position my camera here so that I can see. I want to be able to see uh, another part of this side here. So let me just, no, no, that's okay, no. Uh, so then I'm just going to, because this is a uh, night time, I'm going to change the light to, uh, I'm going to give the light a different tone and then maybe angle it a bit to the inside so that we can light cave a little bit more in the inside okay that light is going in too much
Okay, something like that. Let's see. reduce uh, the like just to be let's try 700 and see and uh, I think uh, th uh, the this back side looks a bit brighter but uh, it will uh, that light will come down on when we start adding in uh, textures uh, a little that a bit darker so I'm not going to add too many lights I think one is enough and maybe the other lights can come in when we add in uh, anything else a character fire whatever you want to add in uh, or a robot with uh, laser laser lights something like that so let's see I'm still trying to reposition repos this I think this is a better position and uh, you might also want to add add in a few Spots uh, that kind of uh, a few holes uh, into into your shape, just to make it a little bit interesting. So I'm just using Shift Alt S to turn this into a circle, then one, and I can delete this vertex and hit F, extrude that and lit you can see some light coming out coming from there and sometimes to help the light you might want to add a spotlight in that spot to kind of push in uh, some light uh, through Just align it. And uh, increase the light intensity just a bit. Okay, that might be a little bit much. So I five hundred and maybe another one another hole let me push the camera just a bit back we can add another hole right around here uh, so that is visible to the camera so just bevel this I use Control Shift B to bevel the edge, the vertex. Sorry. And now we can do the same here. Bring in this light. Make sure that uh, it's kind of facing the same angle as our main light. So it should be tilted just a bit. Same with this. Uh, right now, our s you can see our, b our shadows are not soft enough, so we can go under soft shadows, under sh shadows and uh, increase uh, this cube size to kind to get better resolution for our shadows and uh, if you want you can also increase the viewport samples <coughs> to get really softer shadows and I think I don't like how the light is coming in here I just maybe reduce the size of this hole just a bit and also I think we're having some light bleeding so we're going to use the same settings uh, as we got here uh, to reduce that so I'll go to the camera to the light here and uh, make sure we have contact shadows and uh, 
to see. Try print that. Just link uh, these two lights so that we. St I'm also going to copy the same color we have here. So I'll just select this. I select these two lights and then select the last light, uh, this area light as last, and then right click on this and copy to selected so that we get the same uh, color here. And I think uh, that's our lighting. That's how our lighting is going to look. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, let me first add in some amid occlusion and bump maps, sorry, bloom and uh, screen space reflections. <coughs> uh, so we can start working on the texturing in the next tutorial. Thank you.